Hey, Fit Heads. Today we have Dr. Paul Bove, a chiropractor, also known as Captain Crunch. He's super cute. And he's an expert in CBD and basically convinced me that actually I'm going to go take some CBD right now. Yeah, it was awesome. It was everything I never knew I needed to know <laughs> <laughs> about CBD, which is a lot. Welcome to Total Fit Heads. Serious fitness for not so serious people. Hey, Fitheads. Today we have Dr. Paul Bove, a chiropractor, a CBD expert. I'm so excited to talk with you. Thanks for joining us. Please, thank you guys so much for having me. This is a true honor. Heck yeah. So you got your CBD behind you already. Oh, definitely. I got a whole bunch of stuff behind me, you know, pamphlets, all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> the uh, cream that I first started with uh, was uh, from Elevate Hemp, and uh, this is really what kind of made me change directions from you know the other topicals that I was using at the time and now now we have pump bottles of this stuff in every room I mean it's it's uh, so much more effective in terms of pain and inflammation so uh, that that was the beginning uh, two years ago actually so you started with the uh, external cream stuff yeah I still do use a, a good bit of topicals uh, I am a chiropractor at a local uh, retirement community, uh, and there are some interactions with CBD and medications. And we'll get into that and what, what I'll get as technical as you want. But Yay. when you use a topical, there's no interactions at all. Uh, and also, you know, I do have patients that work for like PennDOT, and I am in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, and they get randomly tested, and there's a concern, you know, for any THC. So, Topicals, you never have to worry about the THC component getting in your bloodstream or interactions with medication. So topicals are easy, and I still use a ton of them. I have mm. a couple of brands, actually, as well as Elevate. Yeah, I've been using Elevate's uh, topical on my knee, actually. I've, having, I've been having some joint pain, and that, that was just me guessing that, oh, well, if it's specifically my knee and I should just like work right on that site versus like a tincture or something like a pill. Sure. Yeah, that, that works beautifully. Uh, that's, that's a totally appropriate use right now for a single joint. Sometimes when patients have like shoulder, or this shoulder, wrist, knee, it, it's difficult then like uh, they got to take a bath on this stuff. So that's when we'll <laughs> switch to more of like an oral, you know, uh, a tincture. You know? Okay, got it. That works better. So yeah, we mentioned a little bit. Um, can you give us some background? You, you're a chiropractor. I am. Uh, I'm in the suburbs of uh, Philadelphia, and I would love if you guys ever are in town to come in, uh, you know, roll out the red carpet for both of you, <laughs> of course. Uh, I've been in practice 22 years. Uh, I, I, I am blessed. I do see a good bit of people uh, in this county. I'm, I'm one of the top. Uh, and I started using these products because, you know, I want to help people. I want to help them feel better. I want to help them, uh, you know, overcome and, and change their lives. And I'm a huge component of your podcast because fitness is a piece of the wellness puzzle. You, you know, you come in and get adjusted. Sure. That's amazing. And number one, you can't have wellness without, uh, you know, your nervous system functioning properly, but then you don't want to leave and, and eat whatever the heck comes down your way and stop at the donut shop and, you know, get terrible sleep. And, uh, you know, so, it's a piece of that puzzle. So 22 years in practice, uh, I myself was a sickly kid growing up. Uh, I had asthma and I was a fat kid. You know, I'm a reformed fat guy right now. <laughs> uh, my highest weight was 256. I had a size 40 waist, you know, uh, and- uh, How tall are you? I'm 5'11". Okay. Well, uh, now I'm like 5'10 like... and three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Uh, yeah, not, not so great. I used to always be the big guy, but um, my chiropractor, I started going to a chiropractor when I was 14. Um, I, um, I got detention in high school. I went to a private all boys high school in New Jersey. And listen, it was an unrealistic expectation for the fat kid to make it from one building to the next building in four minutes. So <laughs> I was consistently late and uh, I got a two hour detention for that. And uh, it wasn't like just sit in the classroom. I had to work with Brother Regis, the gardener, and I had to empty all the trash cans. So imagine the fat kid out of shape, lifting metal trash cans and dumping them and dumping them for two hours. So I hurt my back. I went off to uh, my dad's chiropractor. And this was like, you know, I was 14. Uh, I'm 
you know, not, not the most confident in myself. Uh, and this guy sat down with me, needed me, and he said, listen, man, your back is screwed up, sure. You know, you got problems in there. I'll take care of that. But you're, you're doing things that, that are not going to promote health. You know, let, let's talk about your weight. Let's talk about strategies you can employ to change that. And seriously, I had been going to the, the, my family doc, uh, Dr. Godfrey, awesome guy. I got shots every week, you know, who knows? I don't even know what was in those shots, you know, but he never did that. And this chiropractor did. And he said, look, you should change. You, you, you know, you, you don't like the way you are. You should change, try, do something different, get out and walk. And, and I listened uh, and I joined the lacrosse team. Uh, I was a freshman. I was terrible, terrible. The, the whole feet, like the guys were already practicing. We had to start with a run around the school. It's two miles. They're already practicing. Here I come. <laughs> I'll make it. Uh, I was terrible. Third string defense, you know, but stuck it out, played, lost some weight, kept getting adjusted. Things started to change. I didn't have to take all the allergy medicines. I didn't have to take all of my asthma medicines. And then next year, I joined the wrestling team. And uh, I went from heavyweight to 159. <laughs> Not exactly the best uh, weight loss strategy. I would eat a pear and nothing else. And then <laughs> if I ate dinner, I would put on jackets, 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 and do my best run around this uh, circle in my neighborhood. Uh, Max, and, we're yeah, all wrestlers life. insane. Max has the same story. <laughs> He's a wrestler too. You, all, you guys know, are all nuts. <laughs> yeah, it, and it was just for some reason, I don't know if like no one was supervising us or whatever, <laughs> but we all have these nutty stories. You know, I ate a pair. Yeah, I, that makes sense. I'm like, yeah, of course you did that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but you tell that to a, nor a normie, a normal person. They're like, hold on, time out. What? For yeah. days? Why would yes. you put on multiple jackets? And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. That's just that's it, that's just what we do. That's just what we do. <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. That was great. So then I didn't need so many of the meds anymore. Uh, and then I was competing. Then I was, you know, first string lacrosse. Then I was, you know, off to Rutgers lacrosse camp. And then, I, you know, so things started to change. And I changed directions in terms of wanting to be a medical doctor to being a chiropractor. And uh, off to Life University down in Georgia. And that was in a long time ago, 93. <laughs> uh, yeah, graduating, started my own practice. And uh, I'm totally blessed now, you know. But seriously, the... Where the CBD piece comes into play, and this is what uh, I think is so cool in the holistic model, all right? Because inborn in us is an endocannabinoid system. Endo means within. So there are cannabinoids that are produced within our bodies. And we take cannabidiol, which is CBD, or other cannabinoids. There's 113 cannabinoids in the hemp plant. We take those to stimulate those receptors. That's intimately linked with the nervous system, which is what chiropractic is all about. You want a proper functioning nervous system without any interference. Well, you know, you can influence that in certain ways through natural means, without side effects, without hurting your liver, without, you know, hurting your gut with NSAIDs or a leave or Advil, you know, those kinds of things. So this is why it fit in beautifully in this model of health and wellness. And then really, I, I am going to be spreading this message, you know, with Elevate uh, uh, to as many chiropractors as possible to try to help them implement it in their practice. Yeah, that's so interesting to me that like, my body has its own cannabinoid system. And so then CBD is just like, helping that work better. Yeah, it is fascinating. Like the, the actual uh, influence of the CBD kind of varies in, in, in individuals. You know, the, the vast majority, it's a relaxant. It calms down. So I like to keep things simple. You know, when you take that, one of the biggest things in here is insomnia. And if you go to the, uh, the website for sleep disorders, uh, 50 to 70 million people suffer from some form of sleep issue. Mm -hmm. uh, so it does an amazing job at calming you down, relaxing the nervous system for the vast majority of people. You can tweak the, the concentrations and you can make it, you know, the, you know, more geared towards energy production. But for the vast majority, it's a relaxant, you know, calms down 
the muscles, calms down the nerves, calms down the pain receptors, you know, and that's what helps you sleep you know, a little bit better, more thoroughly. Got it. But there is a way to kind of get the opposite of that. Is Would it be taking more of it or, or something specific to your body? A different, uh, different concentration of cannabinoids. Oh, okay. you know, uh, so uh, different cannabinoids can do different things. Just like, you know, I'm, I'm a proponent of THC as well. Uh, one of my favorite documentaries on Netflix is Weed the People. Uh, okay. At first, I thought it was going to be a bunch of stoners. And I'm like, am I wasting my time? But it seriously uh, deals with children and cancer. So you do have to have a little bit of fortitude to watch this because cancer treatment is terrible. Traditional medical establishment treatment of cancer is pretty, pretty rough. You know, when you look at children, it's like, oh, you know, really terrible. But they used THC mixed with CBD and other cannabinoids that, and it worked. It helps. And, and there is a place for it. Uh, in Pennsylvania, it's... It's coming. The recreational status of uh, cannabis is coming. Uh, I know you guys are West Coast, so it's already there. I mean, you can go to the store, basically. Here, you need a card, and it's prescribed to you by a doctor, and then you have to pay for that card yearly to renew it. Uh, and you can go to the dispensary then and buy what, what's needed. And typically, the dispensary is pretty expensive, but at least there's an avenue. Right. But soon it's going to be recreational. And I am a proponent of that. I, I understand there will be irresponsible people. I do. But I think, uh, you know, if you look at any of the vices, alcohol, people are irresponsible. Guns are irresponsible. Sugar, irresponsible. Soda. I mean, come on. It's liquid candy. It's junk. I mean, but what happens? It's all over. It's everywhere. I heard you ate that pear, so. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I think one of the I think one of the things that um, certainly people who don't know much about uh, people who are starting from like a point of like total ignorance, um, when people are talking about CBD and the benefits, it's like, oh man, it does everything, you know? Does uh, it's good for your brain? It's good for your nerves. Good for depression. Good for your joints. Like, can, like, and I think some people are sort of like, well, what is this? Like a miracle magic pill? Like, I, I don't know. Like, uh, you know. And, and on some level, when when even something as simple as like ibuprofen, they're like, oh, I have a headache, ibuprofen, that, that makes sense. I can connect these two. Can you talk about like specifically uh, benefits or, or um, pitch it to like my grandma who, <laughs> you know, I is a little scared? Sure. And you're right. I mean, that was the whole reason why I wrote the book. All right. Look at, look at me. Uh, here we go. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. this book? <laughs> so... There's a whole reason why I wanted to take that perception, the stigma of like the back alley, the concert grounds, people getting high and, and uh, using it just for foolishness or, you know, just to, to, to get high. What I would say to your grandmother is first I would do a clinical history, you know, what's going on, how did this happen, where to, you know, any, any trauma, you know, go through that whole thing. And then I would also go through whatever other medications she might be taking, right? Uh, then I would say, if it's just a one area, shoulder or, or shoulder, neck, let's try the topical first. Let's apply that. And then I would probably do some muscle techniques to help with that as well. If, you know, it's severe pain, if it's rheumatoid arthritis, if it's, you know, uh, migraines, if it's something that's, you know, way above, you know, a typical joint nuisance pain, then we're going to talk about ingestibles, you know, and that's where I, I fall back on the tincture. Uh, Elevate makes sprays. Uh, cinnamon and mint are the flavors that I typically use uh, the most just because it's, it doesn't really change the formulation as much. Uh, but that's where I would start. Now, like I said, there are interactions and we want to use this safely. Okay, so keeping it simple, the CBD does relax the liver. All right, so the liver is needed to break down certain meds, four big ones, all right? Synthroid, all right, it's thyroid issues, all right? The next one is gonna be blood pressure meds, all right? Next one, blood thinner meds. And lastly, let's see where we have blood thinner meds. Your statin drugs, yeah, your cholesterol meds. All, right? All of those are broken down by the P450 enzyme in the liver. That enzyme gets inhibited 
by CBD. So just think of it, and what does CBD typically do? Relax, cools off pain. So it relaxes that enzyme. Well, that enzyme is needed to break down those meds. And if it's taking a break, well, then you have meds in your system longer than they should be. Mm-hmm. Never has there been you know, a reported case of any, any horrific you know, interaction like that. But talking to grandma, that's the, I'm going to make sure that that never happens. You know? And that's why this podcast is awesome. And I thank you guys so much because, yeah, when people go and, and uh, you know, want to take these products, be smart about it. Let, let's, let's get educated first. I wish there were magic pills. I would sell them myself. I would, you know, I, I wish I'd I had them. magic hands, you know? I would take them too. You know? <laughs> there are no magic pills. Get that through your never, ever, never. It's a process that never ends. There's no touchdown. Look, I lost 50 pounds. It's never done. It's a continual process of engaging in your health. This is a piece of that puzzle, possibly, if needed. Hmm. How's well, that? When you're talking about blood pressure medication, I've also heard that CBD can help your blood pressure, right? It's like good for your heart health too. It can. It it's, uh, has been shown to lower blood pressure. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Some of the studies, like I, I don't really uh, make a lot of claims. There's, you know, because it's so new, because it's it's you know coming out now and and gained so much popularity still want to be cautious of claims. We, we have, you know, documented studies done by GW Pharma with a CBD isolate for seizure disorder and also for uh, social anxiety disorder. Uh, and they weren't big studies, but they were studies. And I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not here to, you know, promote GW Pharma, uh, but I am thankful that they, they did invest time and effort into that. It's funny in the CBD world that it's an inferior product, a, a CBD isolate, but you know it worked and it showed positive responses to, uh, you know, MS uh, and seizure disorder and also social anxiety. So, and do you see more of that happening? Like you're saying that CBD is so new, but it feels like, I guess maybe I'm wrong. It just feels like that it's not that new, and I'm confused why there isn't more clinical research on it. Like. Are it's coming. Up? Okay. It's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. All right. The uh, the cannabis portion, the THC uh, component, we couldn't study in this country uh, up until the farm bill was passed, and then then it started the the wheels are rolling uh, a bit. So we're a little behind. Uh, Israel, they're they're doing great work. Uh, uh, Doctor uh, Didi Marie, uh, he has an awesome uh, TED talk, uh, and uh, he shows actual slides of THC slash CBD mix uh, destroying cancer cells uh, from the colon. Uh, and it's, it's promising, but it's in its infancy. And I, again, I would never make a claim for that. But I have had patients that are, you know, terminal cancer. So if this helps, if this takes away some of the pain, if this can be of assistance, let's do it. Let's do it safely. Sure, yeah. If it, and yeah, when you say like doing it safely, I, I'm just a spaz and worry. Like, is there is overdose possible? Well, you know, it's funny. The study that was done for social anxiety disorder, they used 300 to 600 milligrams. That was their dose. I thought I was I, doing I, a lot at 40. All right, <laughs> you'd have to take that whole bottle, two of the bottles actually. I think that bottle was 300 milligrams. You'd have to take that plus, you know, another bottle, and. I'm surprised. I think that's kind of a lot. But in that study, those people who took that dose reported being able to, they, they did a, uh, a public speaking event. And the people that took the CBD did a better job at their public speaking event. Uh, and that's what they reported. That was the, the study. And it wasn't a big sample of, of people, but it shows promise. But I mean, 300 milligrams, uh, first and foremost, cost wise, that would be pretty expensive to do. <laughs> and if it's gummies, you'll get diabetes before you're better at speaking. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I do like gummies periodically, but that's not, not clinically, that would not be a product that I would you know, totally recommend. It is funny, we did, um, we're starting hemp day instead of hump day, we're doing hemp day. <laughs> uh, and that was our first product, the, the gummies. Uh, but 
that wouldn't necessarily be what my first go-to for clinical utilization. I thought that uh, I read somewhere that public speaking was like the most common phobia fear out there. I think oh, number death. two was death. <laughs> yeah, secondary <laughs> to death. I'd rather um, die. Can <laughs> so you talk about the different um, topical gummies or uh, pill or different uh, delivery methods and what you think is... Sure. So uh, Elevate does a great job. They have a whole bunch of different you know, types of products, everything from melting strips to gum to mints. Uh, I fall back, those, those I use uh, like in the car. I'll have, I always have like a, a pack of gum in the car. If uh, someone's getting stressed out, maybe you know, getting a little car sick or we're in traffic, have a piece of gum, chill, take it easy. Everything's gonna be fine. You know, that, that's what I would use something like those products for. Uh, the sprays uh, are gonna be more like for the insomnia, for the anxiety, for you know, the pain. You know, because you can get a bigger dose, better absorption, uh, and they also don't have the, the sugars and all that kind of stuff too. But yeah, the topical creams, they work well. I mean, I'm in, I'm in the business of uh, adjusting people all day long and you know, I feel muscle and muscle tension all day long and muscle sprain strain all day long. And so it's easy, it's easy to just pump some of that and, and uh, do some muscle work, strip out. And uh, it, it really helps, it really helps a lot. It took up our game you know, in terms of pain relief. And yeah, if we're not saying that like we should be to the 300 extreme, like how do you figure out dosage? Ah, okay. Thank God I liked math in school. All right. So mm -hmm. you got to do some math. And, and this is also what's going to apply when you look at products, because, you know, you can see one product is $20 another, and then, and then this product is 150. What, what, why would that be 150 and this is 20? So it all comes down to uh, weight. And this is, this is really like a rough estimate, okay? So for every 10 pounds of body weight, three milligrams of CBD, all right? And this is kind of a rough, rough estimate, all right? So a typical, you know, 160 pound, you know, you're looking at 50 milligrams, okay? Uh, someone smaller, Allie, you know? Uh, <laughs> I'm huge. How dare you? Oh, yeah. No, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, petite. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe you can start out with less. And I always like to start out with the least anyway, because it's most economical when it, when it comes down to it, too. I mean, if we all had unlimited money. Sure. We'll take, you know, take 100 milligrams a day. But that's going to run you, uh, you know, 120, 150 dollars a month. You know, so we if we can get away with 25 milligrams and that's doing the job of alleviating pain or, or helping you sleep through the night, well then stay with that. And then, well, then is there, I know there's like a certain amount of time before it builds up in your system and you start feeling the effects, right? It does take a little bit, but you should, you should really feel the effects. Uh, you know, like, like in your video, when you talk about sinking into your chair a little bit deeper, that's the muscles kind of relaxing a bit. That, that's, that's the response. Now, again, you took a gummy, which, you know, is not going to really uh, be as effective. Uh, you know, the absorption rate is going to be less because it went through your digestive tract. But, um, you know, yeah, you should feel it right away. It's not like half an hour, you know, about. Okay. And well, if I'm taking, you know, an effective dose for a while, is there like a tolerance and then I just have to start taking more? I, I haven't found that in my clinical practice. You know, the, yeah. there, uh, there are patients that I do treat with significant pain and uh, yeah, they'll take a hundred milligrams a day, uh, but they'll probably stay at that forever. Right. Uh, it's not like they're going to need 200 the next month. They'll stay at 100 milligrams, you know, and uh, my point to that, I, I'm, I'm ecstatic because I know they're not getting the side effects of their liver. I know they're not tearing up their digestive tract with with other pharmaceuticals. Uh, and so, you know, that's fine. Just stay with that. You know, someone can get away with 50 milligrams. Like my wife, she takes 50 milligrams uh, to help her sleep through the night. And that's pretty much consistent every night. Um, we didn't, we don't have to go to a hundred milligrams now. We don't have to, you know, stays at the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I well, mean, then how, do, how do you know when you do so it's topical like my knee hurts put this on and then if i want to sleep i take the same amount every day and regulate it or if i'm like stressed out tonight can i take a pill or spray or whatever and sleep better tonight and then not need it tomorrow or what do you suggest so on uh, certain people that do like like if you if you're just periodically oh i got this little bit here there and it's not like a consistent issue uh, if someone comes in and they do have like a condition insomnia and they they suffer from that well then yeah that's going to be pretty much every night but for me even for me i take uh, a, a topical uh, here and there on my hamstring. Thought it was a good idea, Max, to uh, enter a wrestling tournament, uh, Naga, uh, in Wildwood, New Jersey, uh, when oh. I was 43 years old and uh, wound up tearing my hamstring. It wasn't that bad, but uh, yeah. So when I go and uh, exercise now, I put some topical on my hamstring on the right side. But after I work out, I'll take uh, a, a, a ingestible. 50 milligrams, same thing, uh, help me sleep, uh, you know, and listening to, you know, bodybuilders and that sleep is super important in recovery. So I really want to not be my mind running and thinking and up and down all night. So I, I just take 50 milligrams out cold see in the morning. Uh, and it, it does help. It does help with that recovery. It doesn't help with the soreness of the muscle all that much, unless you take another dose the next day, not, which I don't like to do, just like what you said, Ali. I'm, I'm kind of like a high strung, let's do this rock and roll all day. I mean, I see a bunch of people. I don't want to be chill. I don't want to be like, <laughs> oh, let's just hang out. I want to be on, on, on. Next patient, next patient, next patient, let's go. So <laughs> nighttime is when I would typically uh, take a CBD. Product. Well, you gave us the focus. Oh, so yeah. will focus make me chill, bro? Or will it make me I definitely No, it'll, it'll have like the, the little bit of chill. But just like, um, again, in Ali's video, you know, when you're doing your music, you know, it's, you can kind of, your, your body is a little more chill, so your brain is on. I have plenty of guys like that, that work out and, and they want to take the CBD. You know, they take it and they even take a little bit of THC to mix uh, to, to help their workout, help their focus during that. Uh, you know, I mean, again, some of it is anecdotal, but uh, if that helps you, if that, you know, makes your workout, you know, more complete, then Get high and pump iron. <laughs> what? I said, get high and pump iron. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I, you know, look, that's not something I, I, that I would do, but you know, I definitely for recovery afterwards, I, I would totally recommend. It must be hard to like sort of like a, a lot of people hear CBD and they think weed, let's get high, man. It must be annoying to consistently be like, no, no, this is a, <laughs> this is a medical tool. Like there's no, uh, you know, we took out all the, the, uh, you know, high aspects, right. get high aspects out of it. Does that happen? I mean, that must happen every day. All the time, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny, the uh, geriatric population, they're more open to using anything, you know, and, and you would think they would be more staunch. I was at a, uh, what's called Lower Providence Day. It's a town nearby. And I, I do outside events all the time. I, I, I like having a big practice. So uh, I brought some of Elevate products. And oh, man, it, was, it wasn't an older person. They were like, oh, that's weed. I'm like, please, you know, <laughs> that's just far. And they couldn't be farther from the truth. Come on, man. You know, but, uh, you know, yeah, we still get that. But slowly, 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 it's, it's changing. It's changing. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Well, so you say like the vast majority of the population will just be more relaxed um, when it, when you're interacting with the endocannabinoid system in your body. But is it possible? To, like, what is the other percentage? What are other possible reactions to CBD? Like negative side effects? Yeah. Maybe? This is basically uh, a self-serving question because Ellie's I have... scared. Yeah. Ellie's super scared. Well, and also I... Whatever. Yes. She's very particular about uh, everything she eats and ingests. And, you know, have I you heard tell. of uh, the, uh, fasting? Breakfast? Yeah, <laughs> I can tell with the fasting for two years. Uh, sure, I saw that video. <laughs> right now, I'll just go with nothing instead of t 
risking it. <laughs> Honestly, I think, I think that's a great policy. I think people pop things way too often uh, and are way too trusting. You know, I mean, I, yeah, well, I'm on the other to, end of the spectrum. I'm like, <laughs> what is that, a pill? Yeah, I'll take it, whatever. Am I, where am I, a visa? Yeah, I'll take it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I mean, I think it's a good idea to be diligent about what you put in your body, always. Uh, so possible side effects, dry mouth, diarrhea, you know, that's about it. You know, I haven't really had any of that. I mean, if you take a whole bottle of gummies, you're, you got sucralose in there, possibly. You got all kinds of, you know, artificial sweeteners, possibly. I don't want any of that. So, uh, you know, that, that can definitely cause erythritol. You can mess with your stomach. So uh, tincture, usually. And now, going back to your point before, like CBD is everywhere. And you are right. CBD is everywhere. But you need to have a reputable source. You know, you need to know what you're taking. Uh, and again, that goes to this point right now. If you go to the gas station, you pick up a tincture there. I, I can't vouch for whatever the heck is in that, uh, whether it's accurate or not. Uh, it is buyer beware. So uh, it's important to make connections with, you know, appropriate labs uh, and, you know, places that are going to be uh, you know, ethical in the production of your product that you're going to then ingest. A couple of ways to do that, right? Uh, COAs, you know, any reputable company will give you on their website what's in their products, you know, from a, a third party, right? They'll have a printout of what's in there, any impurities and all that. It should be something you should look at. The next thing you should know is where do you get your hemp? Where does it come from? It's an important question to ask. Imported hemp, they may not have the same regulatory stuff that we do here. So it's important to know where, what you're what you're ingesting, okay? But in terms of side effects, there is nothing, I haven't seen any case where it was anything like life-threatening. There was uh, one report, uh, but that was with a THC gummy product. Uh, and that was someone that would inadvertently kept eating the gummies, like eating Swedish fish, you know, just popping and popping and popping. Uh, and that, you know, I mean, if you take too much THC, you can become paranoid, you can become, you know, there's other issues. You can, you know, have a side effect of that. CBD doesn't do that. All right. So CBD products are, are very safe when it comes to that. All right. The THC component, that, that's saved more for you know, other conditions. And I, and then, like I said, in this state, I can't recommend that. I can't sell that. I do not, you know, I comply with the laws, which CBD is legal in, in this state. So. Yeah. Well, and you're talking about like finding a good source. I know you mentioned that you saw, I, I did a video where I tried CBD gummies that weren't Elevate. I, yeah. Um, and I kind of throughout the video was like, is this doing anything? Like, can you talk right. about what you've used in the past that maybe isn't as effective and what you do now? <laughs> so uh, I found Elevate first and we started with the topicals first and then we uh, branched out into, you know, the ingestibles. And again, that's, that's where, you know, really had to get more educated on, uh, you know, what this is going to do to the body and, and what would I expect and what, what should I use it for. Uh, then I also uh, met a, uh, a scientist by the name of Roman. Uh, and I also met another doctor, uh, Dr. Gary Black. And uh, they have different companies and I do use their tinctures as well. Uh, one's from Advanced Hemp and one is New Spectrum Hemp. Uh, and uh, I do have their tinctures and I sell them as well. Uh, yeah, you know, they're, they're all great products. I know exactly where Elevate's hemp comes from. It's a local source. Uh, I've been to their lab. I've, yeah, I got the tour, uh, but I've also been to the other two uh, labs as well. Uh, I don't sell anything that I haven't, you know, seen, touched. I brought this along. This is a bag of hemp that I got from uh, one of my suppliers. This is actually what it looks like. Uh, this is hemp flour. Kind of looks like a big bag of wheat. Uh, but I know where this came from, the Susquehanna Valley. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, that's just important uh, because I am a doctor and I, I am a reputable doctor. And I want to uh, maintain that great relationship with my patients, knowing that I'm here to serve them and help them feel better with appropriate products and high quality products and good price, too. 
Yeah, and if you're looking at what looks like, I mean, take a brewery tour. They show you like a barrel of hops, and you're like, "Yeah, is this a giant trash bag of weed?" And they're like, "No, no, no, that's hops." And you're like, "Okay, so I don't know what the hell I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just looking. I don't know. It's a plant. I think. I don't know. It's great." <laughs> Max, that is a perfect segue, all right? Look, I'm going to be like DJ Khaled, all right? I'm bringing my vodka oh. in here. This is my newest project. Uh, it is a beer that is infused with hemp, but I also used one of the scientists' proprietary technology for a nano-ionic formulation, and this does have 10 milligrams of CBD. I myself oh. haven't even tried it yet. We're going to try it on Friday, uh, and... Uh, See That's how so it cool. tastes. You know, the, the real challenge was to take the, the hemp, put it in the beer, and get the right proportion so it flavors it with a hint. But the CBD, CBD is oil. It doesn't mix. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. mix with, with water. Yeah. Elevate does have a product uh, where you can uh, squirt it in, and it's a dissolvable form, right? I tried that in the beer, but it changed the color and uh, added a slight bitter taste. So... Uh, I went with a nano-ionic formulation, which I don't even know how it's done. Uh, and uh, magic. we're going to try it on Friday. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my That's YouTube up. channel. Oh, no. But, uh, <laughs> That's exciting. Hey, go check it out. I'm going to yeah. try to get to your guys' status, man. You know, <laughs> having a half a million viewers, come on. That's like, I mean, if you're making weird weed beer, I feel like you're on your way. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't invented anything lately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's super oh. cool. Interesting. So. Wait, that was... A Great segue to my question. Uh, can I get super drunk and take CBD and feel better? <laughs> what, do you th what do you think about oh, CBD for like, hangovers? Like, like a hangover uh, remedy. That, that's an interesting, hmm. It definitely will help with you know, the headache type pain, but that's, that's coming from dehydration. All right, so first and foremost, if you are drinking a lot, drink water. You know, try to temper that with some water in between so that you don't become completely dehydrated and feel like crap the next day. Uh, you know, there's, uh, there's another great Netflix special, uh, Truth About Alcohol, and uh, they have some, some interesting, you know, try to, it, it's really, it's, it's a good thing. It's fun. It's funny. Uh, and they try. That's like the same reason I haven't watched the, uh, what was that fast food one? Yeah, uh, Fast Food Nation or the one where you're supposed to eat only ruin, vegetables. I don't yeah. want to ruin fast food for myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy in ignorance, kind of. Well, you know, there are there is some truth to that. The ignorance is bliss sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Will, 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 sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you because this is very important. Will it cure a hangover? I and do you need people to test that out for you if you're not sure? <laughs> I, you know, we definitely could run a study on that. Absolutely. <laughs> you could do Absolutely. it on Friday. Sure. <laughs> Come on over. I wish you guys were close. Yeah. Yeah. You have to let us know how it is. I mean, I'm obviously going to go watch your channel. Well, uh, yeah. How do the fit heads find you whenever we want to go see what, how the beer turned out? Oh, look. So my daughter uh, just graduated from Penn State and she thankfully is doing all of my social media stuff because I'm pretty uh, inept at it. But she, I told her, print it out for me. I, I need to know. So these are, I'll send them to you in an email. I have. <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll put you a link in the description. If you guys are listening yeah, on my, Apple, uh, go find us on YouTube. There will be links. So I was going into uh, one of my adjusting suites. And one of the guys, one of my patients goes, Captain Crunch, you're right. And I thought that was really funny. So that's my YouTube channel, Captain Crunch DC. DC that's stands so for Dr. Chiropractor. <laughs> that's awesome. I love so, it. He's Captain Crunch. That's also my TikTok channel too, Captain Crunch DC. How right. is he cooler than us, Max? <laughs> what the heck? Stop it! Stop it, please. TikTok. Right and well, then uh, okay. my yeah, and then my Facebook is Bove Family Chiropractic, and my Instagram is Bove dot Family dot Chiropractic. Okay, Captain and, Crunch and is you strong. also have that's a very strong name. <laughs> <laughs> um your book tell it like how oh yeah you that's on amazon that? uh yeah. in hemp we trust i don't know i just thought that was fun because i do th i do see the possibilities and and it has been exploding uh a little a little fast in terms of uh people trying to make money fast you know like people are, are knocking down their cornfields to plant hemp and that's just again a little crazy out of hand but i i want to take 
uh, and use these products. And I really do want uh, the actual full spectrum cannabis products to become legal so that uh, we can take it and make it appropriate medicinal utilization. And I, I want to keep it out of the pharmacy's hands. Uh, I mean, they, they're going to try to take some of it and that's fine. Uh, but then it takes away and you're going to pay their price and you're going to have to do jump through their hoops. So I'd rather not go that route. I'd rather it be uh, somewhat controlled. Uh, again, I, I, I like living in a free country, but people do do irresponsible things and uh, that does ruin it for the rest of everybody. And there does have to be you know, restraints and laws and, and, and come into play. But like driving here today, this stays in my safe in my office at home. Uh, I'm a little scared driving with this thing, you know, because from the naked eye, and, you know, if I got pulled over on the way here, I would have a lot of explaining to do. And uh, <laughs> would have probably missed the podcast because I'm in jail, you know. <laughs> <laughs> with your giant bag of not weed. Yeah, exactly. It's oregano. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's not going to get you high. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, well, I should mention to the Fitheads that Elevate hooked us up. So that you, you can go on Elevate.com and get a totally free product. The, awesome. Use the coupon code Fitheads and you'll get a drink mixer five pack, shipping included. Super cool. Um, it's a $16.94 value, which is awesome. Um, so that's Wait, what is it? Oh, elevatehemp.com. Excuse, excuse me. And um, you can find the drink mixtures under shop, edibles, and drinks. Cool. Um, thanks so much for joining. Oh, wait, wait, us. we got to ask about um, dogs. Oh. I mean, people are great. Ah. <laughs> Who cares about people? He's got a dog. I'm. I've got excited. a dog. Oh, okay. Talk to me about that. So same, uh, same rough estimate. Uh, three milligrams for every 10 pounds ish. Okay. And again, uh, uh, just for a regular dog, you know, if your dog is fine and everything's great and he's not, you know, uh, freaking out when you leave and ripping the couch apart, or if he's not arthritic and old, uh, then they don't necessarily need to introduce a product. Uh, but if he does have issues of, you know, separation anxiety, or he gets freaked out if it rains or, uh, you know, if he has, uh, you know, arthritic issues in his hips or her hips or, you know, then sure, yeah. Uh, Elevate does make uh, some dog treats. Uh, I give them to my dog. He's a puppy, a uh, little guy, and he's a little nutty. Uh, so cool him off at night because I want him to chill uh, and sleep. Uh, they're, they're five milligrams each. So I give him one. You know, he's only 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. So um uh, but uh, I do have other patients that do have older dogs that have arthritic issues and uh, there's drops that Elevate makes uh, and th those are a little more uh, efficient. If your dog is not that picky about food to eat, then you can just sprinkle, you know, dropper full on in the food, uh, especially if it's like a soft food treat, you know, uh, and they, it works. It works just like it would work in a person, you know, it takes that pain down, calms down the muscle spasm, things like that. Yeah. Max's dog yeah. definitely has anxiety. He's, a my dog sleeps he's just like, like a sped. My dog sleeps 20, 22 hours a day. Wow. Uh, <laughs> is it, is it he wakes up, goes to the park, and just loses it, goes off on every dog, you know, not in a bad way, just runs yeah. around, sprints for like an hour straight. We take him home, right back to bed. He's, he's, a, he's a stuffed animal. It's amazing. I got that. Yeah. What kind of dog? Yeah. We think he's a beagle. Like for example, he's still sleeping. I woke up two hours ago. He's he doesn't wake up till <laughs> you know, like an hour. An hour you didn't have to now. take him out this morning. He just he still. I wake up. I open the thing. I'm like, hey, buddy, you want to wake up? He's like, mm. <laughs> so you in dog form. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, we liked that. We got a really good uh, puppy dog. But yeah, no, it's it's. I'm I'm excited to try the the drafts. Let him. If, if if need be, I mean. Right. I don't know. I don't know if he needs it. You know. I don't know if he needs it. Yeah. yeah he sounds pretty chill. <laughs> Super. I chill. mean, you gotta. He's got to run around a little. He's got to, you know, have some. When fun when he goes out, park. he runs. He doesn't. You know, he just bottles it up. You know. Yeah. See, I'd only met him when he was doing that, and I know that he was like responding to cars. He was really scared walking on the street and stuff. That's why I thought he was anxious, but yeah. it seems fine. <laughs> All right. Pretty chill. Well, yeah, maybe try it before you go to the park or something, yeah. you know, and see see how he reacts. Again, I would start with the smallest dose, five milligrams. 
all right? right. It makes sense economically as well. I mean, the, the box, the, the container of 60 chews is like 40 bucks. So uh, if you're gonna, you know, give one a day, you know, that'll last two months versus, you know, two, three, four, five a day, you know, you're gonna be, uh, I mean, I, I, economics, I wish we all had unlimited money. So, but mm -hmm. economics do come into play. So, you know, it's smart. I'm definitely convinced to go try some more and experiment. I will be sitting at precisely 37.5 milligrams is what I need <laughs> to start out. <laughs> try um, 25, try 25, but uh, ingestible okay. under the tongue, sublingual, count to 30, okay, then swallow. Right. There's vasculature under the tongue that it will absorb uh, a little faster and a little more efficiently. So that is the uh, the best delivery system. Got it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again. This was awesome. Please, thank you guys so much. This was a, a real honor. I, 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 you know, like I said, I'm telling my patients all week. <laughs> uh, we're gonna publicize this, of course. You know, uh, to. Uh, you know, to everybody, uh, you know, because this is this is really uh, fun and awesome, man. And uh, keep doing what your guys are doing, man. Uh, I'll, I'll keep watching and keep tuning in. Right? <laughs> You've inspired you. me to work out a little bit uh, more regimented. Uh, <laughs> You've inspired me to relax more. <laughs> oh, perfect. Good. See, the, the symbiotic relationship. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. And thanks again to the Fit Heads. If you haven't subscribed on Apple Podcasts, please do that and rate and review because that's super helpful for us. So we'll see you next week.